Happy Monday party people, I found some decks that you could use to climb the standard ladder, bronze through gold. Um, below 5,000 dust had to get a little tricky there, I'll explain in a few minutes, but looking at the win rates, I'm seeing some Groundhog Day scenarios. Um, good news is, the last three weeks of videos that I put together, um, most of them are viable now, uh, but Warlock, Paladin, and Death Knight. I love that Death Knight's higher up, top three. I love it. Um, but yeah, this Sledge Warlock meta is becoming, in my opinion, a little bit too much. Um, we should be seeing news of the new expansion and the new core set refresh uh, very, very soon. I'd be excited to see what happens with both of those. Um, but I think we need some new blood. I think we need some new blood. Demon Hunter is 42%. Mage is 42.2%. Um, these are not indicative of every um, game being played. These are just, you know, small sample size. But it's a good indication that this is what's working and this is what's not, obviously. So I found some decks that we can start playing. We could go through some old, some brand new, like I've never talked about them before. Um, let's go over Unholy Death Knight, and that is the biggest one that you should talk about if you have no dust, um, because this one doesn't cost you anything right now. It's zero dust, and the win rates on Unholy Death Knight is 54.7%. Um, it's a Unholy Death Knight. I've talked about it many, many, many times. You build your corpses as high as you can, keeping the board control as much as you can. Anti-Magic Shell is a very good card for you to be able to do that so they can't AoE and kill your entire board. But, you know, like I said, you work to get your corpses up and then you use Lord Merogar. Where's Lord Merogar? There he is. Um, you use them to build a big board and then you slap your opponent in the face and then you are done. Um, it's a good deck. It's It doesn't take a lot to learn um, in this meta. It's pretty good for zero dust, so I would definitely consider that one. I want to talk about Sludge Warlock, and I know we've mentioned it before. I just talked about it, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's at 4,560 dust and 62.5% win rate. It's cheap. It's very good. It's very strong against most matchups, okay? Most matchups here. I mean, it's just green, 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 green. Um, it has some problems with Rainbow Death Knight. It has some problems with uh, the aggro and mining paladin um, and dragon druid. It's a little bit difficult on, but the rest is just smoking. Um, so this is why everybody's playing it. Um, on the lower ladder levels, I don't see a ton of Sledge Warlocks, um, and those that are on that lower level are just, you know, learning how to play it, so you do have opportunities to beat them regardless of what class you're playing, but it is tough to do. Someone that really knows what they're doing on Sledge Warlock is going to have an easy time fighting you unless you're playing the aggro or the mining paladin or what have you. But this is just building as many sludges in your deck as possible and then using Popcar to make sure it's lifesteal in case you have have those you have waste remover um which you know is 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 a card it's a card um and it just you know destroy the bottom three cards of your deck um and then chaos creation as well deal six damage summon a random six cost minion destroy the bottom six cards of your deck this wins games putting either this card on or waste remover sometimes will win games so with Sludge, you just got to try to hit them as fast as you can and kill them as fast as you can. Keep the Sludge on Wheels dead as soon as possible using hopefully your spells so, you know, you're not causing it to take damage and then Barrel of Sludges will go into their deck or what have you. So, it's... it's it's a deck. I don't know if it's the greatest thing or what have you. I think it's a little played out. I don't like the fact is, is when you're playing an opponent, you're just waiting for their OTK to come off and you're just waiting for them to build a board. They don't, they're not caring about anything that you're doing. They're just getting their combo off, getting their combo off. Not a fan of it, but okay. Um, I also wanted to talk about aggro and mining. Those are still very strong. Those are really one of the best things to counter a uh, Sludge Warlock, and these are both really good. Um, the aggro paladin's got a 66% uh, win rate, and it's at 2,600 dust, and the mining paladin has got a 65.8% win rate with 39 hundred dusk and it's almost the same exact deck so you're just getting things on the board and then using all your buffs uh spells to make sure that you're killing your opponent 
with, you know, three hits in the face with how big these minions are. Um, you see it, little foul leg minion, little righteous protector. You've got these minions that are there that are going to stay there on the board. And that's exactly what Paladin wants. Um, try not to end a turn with a Paladin minion on their board because they'll have opportunities with hand of a doll they'll have opportunities with great hall um the deputization aura is a busted card i love the art i think it's a great card um shroomscavate is the one big thing um divine sh uh, shield wind fury it excavates there's so much this can be done then of course the azurite uh, treasure for uh, Paladin is just huge, giving everybody a huge buff all throughout the, the game. So it's tough. The mining is almost the same thing with just some excavate packages added to it. Um, again, do not leave an opponent's minions on the board when you're playing any type of Paladin. It will bite you in the hiney later on. Okay, so some of these we talked about and we talked about these at length the past couple of weeks good news is you could watch any of the videos that i did uh past three weeks but i'm going through the um the the, the decks and i'm looking for stuff that'll really work and something that's new and fresh or something we haven't talked about before and i've got two new ones um, one of them is Wishing Rogue, and Wishing Rogue is, it's at a 54.3% win rate, and it says, yes, right here, 5,800 dust, and everybody's going, Jay, you're a liar, because, um, you know, you said below 5,000 dust. Well, if you think about the fact that Tess, which is part of this deck, um, Tess is a core card it shouldn't cost you anything so if that's the case um this is a 4200 dust deck and i win and you lose um so listen it's it's rogue it's wishing well rogue so you want to make sure that you get your um uh, coins as high as possible you've got drilly the kid that'll help you grab those quick cards for excavating treasures uh wishing well after you play a coin uh get a random legendary minion from another class and set its cost to one you've got definitely some excavate pieces in here you've got velarock windblade um they buffed this card i believe recently and i think they need to uh, that, that's right they did nerf it as well um it, it it's a busted card i think it's a busted card i think fighting rogues are crazy um and they just get those random cards in their hand that's going to win um preparation we've got ransack deal one damage to a minion if you've played a card from another class deal four instead that's great and you will be playing cards from other classes blood rock shovel to excavate a treasure it's a good weapon i like it uh stick up discover a quick draw card from another class this is where you get some of your synergies running with another class and then listen test rounds everything out after you're done playing that crazy wishing well is replay every card from another class you've played this game and the targets are chosen randomly it's a good deck. It's also uh, very random. So figuring out like a, a super easy way to be able to tech um, this deck is is difficult. But um, play it because it looks pretty fun. And it's also, like I said, uh, below 5,000 dust and a high win rate. So this is good. Another one I found was Totem Shaman. And Totem Shaman is 60 to 20 dust. But if you take out the Gran um grand totem eyesore okay that is also core so it brings it down to 4620 and i still win this is a 60 percent win rate and we haven't talked about shaman in a long time uh we had talked about totem shaman but not this deck um and it's just building up your totems i mean it's a lot of totem synergy here um choose a basic totem and summon it and if you infuse the three totems uh summon all four instead you've got bloodlust that'll make everything in your uh on your board really strong you've got the stone right the rest of your game your totems have plus two attack i always try when i'm playing these types of decks get this uh minion in your hand as quickly as possible because you want those plus two attacks uh you've got famished fool that helps you draw cards um you've got rot gill that give your other minions death rattle give your minions plus one plus one so build a huge board of totems throw this out and you've got a really really strong uh board and then gigantotem is cost one less for each um totem you've summoned this game so you should if you're playing this deck have a really small cost uh gigantotem so 
This is also fun. I did not play any of this. Uh, this was just strictly going through the uh, win rates and the decks, but I found something we haven't talked about in a while, and that's a win. Um, next up, I wanted to talk a little bit about Twist. So if you have no dust, or if you're working, you know, really, really low dust, below a thousand dust, um, Twist is the option for you right now, especially today, because there's not a lot of people playing Twist. Um, there's not a lot of competition on Twist um, until you get the higher levels. So you could climb pretty fast if you're trying to get those end of season rewards. You're trying to just get those stars built up. Um, at least in in um, in Twist, this is an option. And really looking at everything, it's Warrior, it's Rogue, it's some Paladin, it's some Shaman. But there's some options here. Okay, the Twist Warrior is the one I want to talk about because it's 720 dust and the win rate was 66.7%. It's very strong strong it's very strong and remember these are just the, the the common cards so execute sky rider you're going through the motions on some control some aggro with this deck but the main thing is is you want to sit there and have big old whelp at the end uh you want to have the black wing corruptor at the end you've got some big minions that you're throwing on to the board and they do other things with other minions or helps you uh fungal master give adjacent minions plus two plus two uh great looking card art and then to end it out uh twin tyrant deal four damage to two random enemy minions this is eight mana but it's a four ten um these are good decks um there's a lot of other options there. I didn't want to get too deep into it, um, only because uh, Twist is something that not a lot of people are playing right now. It's a shame, but it is what it is. Um, and then we're going to talk one little bit more about these are the legendary cards that are leaving as soon as the standard rotation hits because um you know the the three sets are leaving the uh the standard ladder in a couple of weeks very soon like i think it's like march 11th we should see these out and unless they put them in core but i don't know what they're gonna do so i was just looking at the most popular legendary cards that we're seeing today and we're seeing every day and you know one of the biggest thing that sticks out is astalor astalor is gone in a couple of weeks uh before you know it, it'll be gone do i think they're going to put it in core i i don't know i i don't work there but it would be pretty busted if they did because this this card has been in almost every deck that I've seen that has a very good popularity or a very high win rate. Um, and I'm sure if you've been playing for anything longer than six months, you've seen this deck, uh, this card in a lot of decks for that time. Um, and it's been even longer than that. Sir Finley, this one goes in and out of the meta depending on the situation. This one is being played right now. It's being played in several different archetypes, um, several different classes, and it's strong. It'd be interesting to see if they throw this in. I don't want this in standard. I don't want this in core. I'll be fine when this is gone. It's a great card now, but it's just too easy to get combos off and giving a um, giving yourself or your opponent just an easier way to find the cards they need to throw off the combo. I'm not a fan of, so let's just get rid of it. Prince Renathal, I, I'm hoping this stays um, because you know your deck size is at 40. You get to play some fun stuff. Excavate Reno Paladin, that's 40 cards, is amazing. I love it. Um, and then your starting health is 35. It's fun. It's been around for forever. It's still being played right now in every single solitary metal that I'm seeing on a week by week basis. It's there. I think it should stay. Sylvanas is, is pretty strong. Um, that's also a little bit where you see it, you don't. You see it, you don't. I'm playing this now in four decks, um, and it's a good card. I'm, I, I don't care if it leaves or, or if it stays, but it's 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 a popular card that should be leaving in a couple of weeks. Um, Queen Ashara as well. Um, this this one, I see it sometimes, I don't see it. It's good in a lot of the Naga decks. It's good in a lot of the spell decks. It's it's a good card. Um, the, the the play rate is only 4.6%, but that's not that, it, don't, don't pay any attention to these numbers. These are just the ones that I'm seeing that are most popular right now. And then Lorthramar, Asvidan, um, Shadow of Demise, that's interesting for this to be leaving. I don't think this needs to go in core, please. Team five, do not put this in core. 
keep it away it's done uh blade master was very popular back in the day and then a colossal minion uh theotar the mad duke i like this one you see to break up um you know opportunities for your opponent by just grabbing the one card that they need this card comes out and it grabs the right minion and boom your your opponent is done they just concede it so that's cool um countess yeah i'm a little upset about countess uh blackwater behemoth um uh, bye i don't want it anymore i don't want to see it um, I'll see it in a while, but I don't want to see it any other time. Um, and then Sire Denathrius, that's the last one we're going to talk about. This is also very popular. It has been um, nerfed a little bit. It's been adjusted um, since it's been out. It's very popular. It's making a resurgence the past two weeks. I've noticed that I've seen some decks where this card is in, and then it was gone like a, a month before that. So that's all i got for this week um please let me know what you think of the video as always and then like and subscribe if you like what i'm doing and every monday i do a video like this and um, i'm hoping this helps you climb the standard ladder at least through bronze through gold thanks take care